And here we have DreamWorks Turbo Racing Team Shell Racer Cars from Mattel. These are pretty funny looking and uh, a really neat, silly take on the world of racing. Uh, obviously, DreamWorks is trying to take down cars with their own uh, racing toy and uh, they have surely outdone themselves with uh, snails as uh, racing cars. Ha <laughs> ha, isn't that a funny, uh, um, ironic thing? So let's take a look at some of these and see if they roll, see if they work. And uh, what better surface to try that on, on a Lego bumpy surface? Yeah, yeah, this is my set for Minifigures Battles 8, and uh, I'm stuck in the middle of production on that one, so give it a few more weeks. But let's get back to Turbo, check these out, and have some fun. It looks like each package sold has two shell racers in it, and uh, I think I saw about six different packs available. I bought three, tried to get the characters that were on the main uh, movie poster thing there, and uh, there's a few different variation of colors for these guys too, so I tried to stick with the ones that were authentic. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how uh, these function. They're a little different than normal cars as they have rollers on the bottom of them. So here we have the main character Turbo and White Shadow uh, out of the package and I immediately am impressed by how smooth rollers these guys have. Um, it is very very rolly. Um, probably the makers of Hot Wheels kind of came in here and really helped out design these because these things have a smooth smooth roll. Um, very slug like. It's kind of funny. Um, as for the toy, it's um, plastic with pretty good paint, and uh, here's the rollers again. Got a nice big heavy metal metal drum roller on the back. It's probably the main the main drive, and a little lighter plastic roller up front. And uh, these are really doing some nice nice impressive things. Got a little spoiler on the back here, white shadow. So yeah, I am ultra impressed so far. Uh, sometimes things don't like to roll very well on my board and these guys are rolling really well. So there we have Turbo and White Shadow. Next up we have Burn and Skidmark. Burn looks like the lady character in the show. There's always, what, one lady for every ten guys in these shows? Uh, but there she is and uh, she actually doesn't even look like a lady on this toy but on the box um, she has uh, eyeliner going so I don't know if you can see that but yeah don't even worry about it. she has eyeliner on the box so kind of a, a lazy go at her eyes but man look at them roll skid mark here is pretty funny I like how he's he's flat to the ground and he's got his eyes he looks determined got the number 13 going kind of a good good one if you're collecting 2013 stuff right um, but again just really smooth action going for these guys really impressed um, by how clean that functions. So Skidmark and what did I call her? I forgot her name already. Skidmark and Burn. So here we have Smooth Move and Whiplash. I really like Whiplash with his uh, spiral shell black and silver big blower coming out of his shell. He's got a lot of attitude on that face. Really cool one so look out for that one here. And uh, Smooth Move also just kinda like uh, Skidmark with this determination snail sticking out of his shell ready to go. Uh, just a really pretty toy. Kind of a shiny green on his shell. So both of these are really fun to look at. I'm glad I picked these two up. Lots of different characters to collect. So this is going to give cars a little bit of run for their money for sure. Now it wouldn't be a car toy if it didn't have some sort of launcher going on with it. So I picked up a launcher accessory and it also comes with one of the turbo variants so that gives you a chance to get a couple different of the main character uh, but I wanted his signature blue shell and number five and this is kind of a red shell uh, but we'll check this out uh, from the makers of Mattel so you know Hot Wheels had something to do with this probably and launching technology so let's tear this open see how it does here is the turbo launcher out of the box and it is about as simple as you can get it. It is a nice little flatbed race 
car port. Uh, you've got a neat little turbo logo going. Real simple, you're gonna pull that, push this, pull, push, whatever you wanna do, this lever back, little rubber band thing, slingshot going on. Press the uh, blower up on top, and it's gonna shoot the car out. Um, and it's made for all the cars, pretty much. Uh, most of the cars, and it gives you a solid launch. Um, really impressed with that too. So, <laughs> watching these guys just ram into my uh, things on my desk here. There's also a little uh, peg here so that you can uh, buy several of these and have races on your kitchen floor. So, that's going to be fun to do too. So, that is the launcher accessory I highly recommend. I think that ran about the same price as a two pack for the shell racers. So, either get a launcher with one shell racer or you get just two shell racers. So, that is pretty fun. So, there you have it some shell racers. I can't say enough good things about these. This is a solid toy. Definitely pick up a few if you like some silly racing fun. And uh, heck, if you just want something that functions really well. It really puts to shame the episode one pod racer toys I still have in a baggie. And these things, you know, just don't roll as well as the shell racers do. Um, that's because, you know, they just had four rollers, but that's a totally different review. So anyway, get him out of here. And him, what is he doing in here still? So. I will say four, five, ten, one thousand stars for these guys. Pick some up, have some fun. They are fantastic. Um, really great, solid design toy. Uh, and I can't seem to find where Whiplash went. He just disappeared. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Please subscribe to the Squirrel Stampede channel. Oh, there he is.